Hi everyone, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be doing a products I regret buying video for you guys. Um, obviously, not every product you buy is going to work for you like it does some other people. So, I'm going to show some products that I really, really don't like. Um, starting with the first product that I most regret buying, um, just because of the fact that I had such great hopes for it, it is the Origins Matte Scientist Moisturiser. Um, now, I have extremely oily skin. Um, I just find that nothing combats the oil throughout the day, and obviously I'm at college, so I do need products that will combat that oil. So I was really, really glad to hear that Origins had this amazing product that everyone loves. But, I mean, firstly, if there is one thing I can't stand, it's bad smelling products. So the first thing, I mean, if you could smell this, it smells, I mean, this is disgusting, but it smells like wet, dirty feet. That's exactly what I feel like I'm putting on my face every time I used to use it. And I, it's still like three quarters of the way full. So it's a real, real waste. I mean, it was something like £21. And some people might think that's not very expensive. But to me, being a student and everything, this would be quite pricey. But I absolutely hate it. I mean, oil control wise, yeah, I mean, I didn't really see any difference. I mean, I keep smelling it. I don't know why I keep smelling it. I hate the smell. But it's even worse when you actually put it on your hands and you go to put it on your face. So I really, really, really regret that. Another product that was raved about, I think, I mean, for so long, is the infamous Gosh Darling. I had such great hopes for this, um, number 134. Um, and as you can see, I have tried to use it because I just feel bad it's sitting there and I keep trying and trying to give it a go, putting it with other lip glosses and things like that, but it's just not right for me. It's far too light and every time I put a gloss over it, I feel like it moves around and it doesn't really stay with the gloss like my other lipsticks do. So, really regret. Gosh darling, I had really good hopes for it. Um, another product that... I mean, not, I haven't really heard anything about it, but it just looked really nice. Is the Rimmel Mousse Blush in number 2, Peach Iced Tea. And this is the colour. I mean, obviously, me having oily skin, I think it was now stupid, me buying this. But it's just awful. The colour doesn't transfer at all on your skin. Um, and I just, I have no use for it at all. I might even give it to my sister. Then next thing is the Barium Lipsticks. I have two. I have number 147, which is this peachy colour. And I have number 129, the lilac. Now, again, I think this was one of those purchases that is bought because of all the hype. I mean, when am I ever going to wear a lilac lipstick? Um, again, it just makes me look like I have a cold and I'm ill. Um, the formulation's nice, though. They smell a bit like Play-Doh, which is a bit strange. But... Um, with the Barium lipsticks, it's all a bit of trial and error. You get some with really good formulation and others with really bad. And the 147 is the example of the bad. It's chalky. It looks awful on the lips. It's too matte. And I've tried again to use it with glosses, but it's just too much hard work. You know, you'd rather have something that works. As Lorraine Stanick would, would say, instant gratification. Um, next is the... Sleek Blush in Flamingo. Now, this is a really nice peachy colour, but me and the peaches just don't get on. I just don't think peach colours really suit me or my skin tone, and I just haven't found myself reaching for this at all. So, again, this was really cheap, but a waste of money. Then, it's two eyeliners. Okay, so next would be two eye coals by MAC in the colours 
Sorry, I keep moving them around. Blues, which is a kind of navy, and Bordeaux line, kind of like the name though. Now, this is a PowerPoint, and this is just the coal. Let me swatch them for you. Swatching them, they're beautiful colours. Um, the reason I bought these was so on days in days like college. I mean, I got these. I think literally before I was starting college, I wanted something a bit less harsh than black, but still interesting. And I thought that both colours would complement my eye colour. So this kind of burgundy colour would bring out the hazel in my eyes and then the blue would kind of brighten my eyes but neither of the colours stays on my waterline, they don't show up and for £16 or £12, whatever they are each, that was real, real waste of money and they literally just sit there and yeah, I mean I could use them to line my lower lash line but I'm not someone who really, I mean I like to use eyeshadows a little bit better because they're a bit softer than coals under underneath my lashes so that for me both of them were a real waste of money then I have this Eclat Mineral Radiance Powder by Bourjois this strangely enough has a really nice smell it smells kind of like it just smells really nice but the colour is really bad and I mean it has radiance in it and it's going to shine so it makes my face really 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 shiny and it's really really orange as well I just said really 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 a lot but I get no use out of this at all and lastly it is this Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder oil free um, all of my friends will know I have a real 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 dislike again real real dislike for Clinique. Um, again, I might be wrong, but it just doesn't work for my skin. Um, and this breaks me out badly. So, all it's really good for is the mirror. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's a little bit different, but I thought I'd give you an insight on things I regret buying. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!